We're back in the kitchen and today we're making chicken pot pie. It's one of my family's favorites and it's mine because I get to use all the leftovers that are in the refrigerator, like the chicken or if you have a turkey, when you have a great big turkey, it works out beautifully. And then the vegetables, you just add that all together and make a sauce with it, put it into a pie crust and voila, chicken pot pie. So let's get started on it. I'm melting two tablespoons of butter and to that we're gonna add in our chopped onions, celery, and carrots. And you want the size to be pretty uniform as far as how big they are. Uh, they're all gonna cook around the same time so you don't want really fine pieces in one and large chunks in the other. And we're just gonna add that right into our melted butter. And if you like other vegetables, you can add them at this time too. So now that the vegetables have been cooking and they're not, you're not trying to golden brown them or, or make them fully cooked, you just want them to start sweating and start getting soft a little bit. So to this mixture, we're gonna add in some parsley, some oregano, salt and pepper are gonna be to taste. So we're gonna add in a little bit right away and then towards the end before we fill the pie shell, we're gonna taste it and make sure if we want any more salt or pepper in it. We're gonna mix that in there. You can already see the beautiful color that's happening and the smell of it, that oregano is just, oh, it has such a perfume to it. And we're going to add in some chicken bouillon. You can do either cubes or this is a paste style um, that I like. So we're gonna add in some of that along with water, two cups of water. Now that it's starting to boil, we're going to add in our potatoes. And the potatoes, again, you don't want them real big chunks, you want them kind of the same size as everything else. That way they'll cook nice. And we're gonna let this sit and cook until the potatoes are they're gonna be slightly firm, but, but fork tender. So you don't want them overcooked, you don't want them mushy. Uh, you just want them just firm enough that you can get a fork through them. And we're going, cause they're gonna cook more once they're in the oven. So while our potatoes and the vegetables are all boiling and cooking over to the side, we're gonna work on the roux. Uh, the roux is equal parts of butter and flour. And we're gonna make a little paste in here and that's gonna be our thickening agent so that we have that nice, almost gravy feel to the chicken pot pie. You can see how it is kind of thick, looks almost like a, like a Play-Doh, cooking the rawness out of the flour. So we're just letting that flour, that way you don't have that real floury taste. What's beautiful is once it's ready, we're gonna add some milk to it. Give it a little whisk. We're gonna keep whisking it and you can see it's starting to thicken up. Now that our carrots, potatoes, celery, and onion all have a good head start on the cooking process, you can see how thin that broth is in there. That's all right, that's where the roux comes in. We're gonna thicken that up. But first, the star of the whole chicken pot pie, the chicken, you're gonna use leftover chicken, a rotisserie chicken, turkey, if you have leftover turkey, it's a great way to use it. Um, even if you freeze it, you can thaw it out and still have it chunked up and ready to put into the chicken pot pie. So we're gonna add that in. And then we're also going to add in our roux. That has been mixed with milk, so now it is more like a gravy mixture. And we're gonna combine that and get it all blended in there. And you can see how that's already starting to thicken up a little bit. Now that we have our pie filling all ready to go, we're gonna add it into a pie dish. This one is a deep dish, so you're gonna wanna make your pie crust maybe like a 10 inch, or if you're buying like one from the grocery store that you can unroll, that's an easy way too. I'll have a separate video on how to make a pie crust if you're unsure. So let's add that right in. We're gonna cover it with the second pie crust. So I'm just gonna roll it up and lay it right over top. And I wanna pinch that down just a little bit. We're gonna roll the edges of it. 
But first, I'm gonna cut off this excess just by taking a knife and going around the edge. I like to save the excess pie crust and make little pie, like fruit pies with it, little handhelds. Now, I like to push down just below the lip to make that a nice seal and then start curling the edges over and pinching them as you go. And so you're just gonna make little, little pinches, but you're gonna wanna make sure that you seal all of that goodness inside. Once I have all those edges sealed and crimped, I, I personally like to put just a little bit of an egg wash on it. And what that will do, it'll make the top of the pie like a golden brown color and it just makes it look really, really pretty. It browns that up beautifully. We're going to put little slits in the top of it and that is to cause air vents so that it doesn't form an air pocket when it's cooking. We don't want that crust to rise up and stay risen. We want it to stay with the filling so it, when you slice it, you have a nice slice that's all together. Look at how pretty that looks. So the chicken pot pie is all done. We're just gonna let it cool now for about five minutes just to let everything kind of settle in and thicken up. Um, we can't eat it right away anyways because it's so hot. But just a reminder, you can make this ahead of time, put it in the refrigerator and cook it later that night. You might have to add a few minutes for it to get brown and cooked being that it would be cold. You can also make mini ones if you're in a family that's smaller and make multiples of them. So same process, same filling. You're just gonna make smaller pies of it and then add your filling to each of those and cover them. This is a great way to use leftovers that are in the refrigerator or just to have something on hand. You can also freeze them. It's so versatile. I can't wait to slice into this and have it for dinner. It smells wonderful. The moment of truth, the first slice of the pie. This is always the most nerve wracking part. Doesn't that look good? Do you see all that chicken and all the potatoes? It smells delicious. I can't wait to try it. The crust is so flaky. It just is gonna melt in my mouth. Look at that. Mmm, it's delicious. The potatoes are done. The chicken is warm and hot. The crust is flaky. You couldn't ask for anything better. It's what we're gonna have for dinner tonight. I hope you try it with your family. The recipe will be at the end of this video and you can also find it at beatyourneighbor.com or check out our YouTube channel. The link will be down below. Have a great night.